guys, so yesterday we made a guide video on how to tackle Fishbone D, the Awakened Epic Raids. It's quite a tricky one in a sense because he does do different attacks each time in terms of the direction he's looking. And that ultimately does lead to a lot of people dying. So if you haven't already learned the pattern, I recommend you lads watch that video. But for today's video, we're here to highlight why you should be farming this Epic Raid and in a way why it is actually special this month. Now, the unfortunate thing that we have been seeing in 2023 is that Caleb aren't making any new epic raids. Maybe they will sometime in the future, but we've gone back to the original epic raids. And while it's not as cool as a new epic raid, it does bring its own benefits. And that is, the boss's HP is significantly less than what it usually is. And that's important because epic raids is still an amazing place to farm links or potions and also droplets. So just for comparison's sake, the drop rates are the exact same. The Yuha Epic Raid has 50 million HP, but the Awakened Fishbone D Epic Raid only has 23 million. So it's less than 50% the HP of Yuha that we're now tackling in this Epic Raid, but we're still getting the exact same amount of drops. So if you are someone that is looking to farm Link Shot Potions and also Droplets, now is literally the best time. And it's something that we haven't had for basically a few months now. It's been a while since we've had an Epic Raid like this with the jobs that we do have, right? And of course, when it comes to farming epic raids, these are the characters you do want to bring. I do not own every single character here. But considering the boss HP isn't anything super high, only being 23 million, you can realistically bring any character you want. And I guess at this point now, considering that links of characters have been a thing for quite some time, we have a lot of options. Gone are the days where there's only like one character per attribute. You have many different options here. As long as you have one character in any given attribute, you can farm links or potions, right? At the same time though, if you want to go the extra mile and get links or potions and also more droplets, these characters are the best for that as they do of course offer both additionally though these links or characters actually have killer this month so therefore they're doing 20 percent more damage now for me it really doesn't matter too much but in my case i do like to use noelle so her getting more killer effects is actually really good here because it just allows me personally to clear target more faster additionally at least when it comes to these three particular attributes it might change later through the month maybe mid month or end of month will introduce something new but these characters do exist with the links or potion soul trait so therefore using these characters as a link you can get an additional five extra links or potions now again because the boss's hp is actually lower than usual i would just recommend putting this onto a character with the links or potion skill because usually at least against the 50 million hp bosses for example you know i would want to put the ganton bane link on someone like macy because she does a lot of damage and that will help us get through a 50 million hp boss you know the benefit is that you get to clear faster but you're also getting additional pots in this case though again the boss doesn't have that much hp so just focus on bringing links or characters if you have the links, put them on. It's great. It's a nice bonus. But in my opinion, they aren't needed. With that said, though, we are going to do an example run just to see what the lobbies are looking like if we just host a random one, for example. In my case, we're going to do a speed-only run, and I'm personally using Noelle. She's max transcended. This is the build that we do have on her. Again, these are the best pets in the game. If you have Toro Shore, definitely use it. 60% Berserker. 60% more damage at full stamina. Really good pets right there. These are our links, and these are our accessories, but we're making a quick change. I do have the Ganton Bane link, so let's use that. And now we're getting 10 links of potions from Noelle. She has killer, and she also does a lot of damage since we do have a max transcendent. Additionally, though, because I do have a second account, I like to farm with both of them. I decided to bring my old account here. In this case, he's using Tensor. And also, fortunately, he does have a Ganton Bane link. So we're just my characters alone. We're getting 20 additional links of potions. But Tensor does come with the case of actually increasing the amount of droplets we also get too. So that's actually pretty good. Jumping into the run though, I'm going to get my alt account to use the summon right away since it is going to apply weakened defense, which is what you of course want to do. Hopefully no one gets hit by the actual attacks though. The boss itself does attack right away and sometimes using a soul bomb isn't really the best thing to do, right? Having said that though, everyone's going down. I'm not sure it's because of my soul bomb, but again, more reason to learn the attack patterns itself. Now in my case, my soul bomb, since I do have a max transit in the world, it's enough to go through the entire phase. So I'm going to wait and use my soul bomb in the third phase since that for the most part is the longest phase right then i will use the solemn that's really good again they have weakened defense you'd love to see it gonna slowly but surely get through this one and with that we are now into the final phase i'm gonna use my soul bomb and again no has a very hard hitting soul bomb you can see there one soul bomb and an sa3 takes down one whole phase that's a max run still in the world, but even at 1 out of 5, 2 out of 5, she still does a good amount of damage on the sub bomb. Definitely worth using for those particular epic raids. And look at that. In a random run, we're just randoms, right? I won't play my guildmates. If we were, we're going to clear faster here. Even though at one point we had like almost the whole team die, we still cleared very fast. And look at these drops, right? 55 potions. We're getting 10 extra because we did the two Ganton Bind links. Usually you get around 45 to 50, which is still a good amount of links or potions. We're getting more droplets too. And again, that only took 45 seconds. Less than one minute, and we're getting like 300 plus links or potions. 
That's not bad. That's not bad. All right, then, jumping into our next run. This is actually a really good lobby. We've a bunch of tenters, so we're getting more links of potions and also droplets. The itchy goes there, too, so he's also really good. We used our soul bomb. There we go. Weaker defense has been applied. Let's move up here. Let's not take any damage. I pretty much mastered this by epic raid at this point. First phase done in 15 seconds. If these guys can use their soul bombs, that's going to be really good. All right, we're about to get to the next phase right here. So it took a bit longer there, but again, the trusty old Noel soul bomb. I'm going to wait a couple seconds just for the SA3 to come back. There we go. All that damage. And then the SA3. Super easy. Another very consistent run. Getting 45 seconds. Give or take, right? That's still pretty good. I believe Ichigo also increased the amount of droplets that we do get here. So this can be like a really good run. Yeah, look at that. Wow. Wow. 82 droplets in that one. Oh my god. So in that case, we had five characters increase the amount of droplets we get. We had six characters increase the amount of links of potions we get. And we also did have three Gantin Bang links in that particular lobby. So we were getting 15 more than usual. And that's why in these particular runs, 60 almost minimum links of potions, 65 as our highest. But then the droplets are absolutely beautiful. 82 in that run. 82 in that run. Wow. Just for some numbers sakes though, overall we got around 360 links of potions and also 425 droplets in the course of 47 seconds. Since we're here though, my guildman was actually hosting, so I thought I might as well join. In this case, we're doing a mind-only run. Let's see how this one does go. We're pretty much going to go through this super fast. Balgo is also a really good character here. Let me just use my Sober Might as well. That's going to go straight through to the third phase. His soul damage is very similar to Noel's. Balgo doesn't have killer here, but he's actually really good since he does have the heals. He has the weakening. He can increase the amount of droplets and also links of potions you can get. And his sub -one does provide an extra bit of survivability because you can then just revive if you do actually die. Which for this epic raid, you do see a lot of people actually end up dying, right? In that case though, very, very fast run. What are the drops actually looking like? 22 seconds. But you know what? This is a good example. It's the bare minimum almost on what you can expect, right? 45 links or potions across the boards. That's actually on the lower end. Usually it ranges from 45 to 50. And I think we got a tiny more droplets there since we were using droplet characters. But even this to a certain extent as the bare minimum is still really good. And in this case, it only took us 22 seconds. So yeah, now is obviously a great time to farm Epic Raids. Epic Raids is always good in general, right? Offers really good value per soul ticket. You're getting links or potions, droplets. You're also maxing out the shop to get orbs, transcendence material, and even coins if you want to do that right. And even sometimes you can get, you know, summon tickets. They occasionally do drop. What you're seeing now, though, is a few extra runs that I was doing early today with my guilds. In this case, most of us did have the Sun Sun Link, and we're also using really good characters. The Christmas Burn, which characters age really well here, especially when it comes to Epic Raid content. They're still my go-to characters, because they do both apply Weakening. Weakening is really good in Epic Raids, if that wasn't already clear. And since we did have a lot of Sun Sun Links in that particular lobby, you know, our droplets weren't as high, because we were using characters that don't increase the amount of droplets you get. But if your main thing is the Links or Potions, in this particular run, we were getting, like, 70 plus links of potions, which is absolutely crazy. But of course, the main thing to take away from this video is Epic Raid is still a great place to farm links of potions and also droplets. But most importantly, this month in particular is a great Epic Raid to farm since the boss, his HP is less than usual and it still has the same amount of drops. And if you can, I don't think you need to make it a requirement. If you can get those extra link sort links into your lobby, then you're just getting even more value. With that said though, hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'll see you guys next time. Take care and peace.